Hey guys, this is your Chester Weather Forecast, and today we're going to be talking about an upcoming potential severe weather outbreak that will be occurring in the Midwest tomorrow into Thursday. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please click the subscribe button if you like weather related content and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like this video to get this out to as many people as possible, as there is a pretty high severe weather risk tomorrow. Let's get right into this. This is my overall take for the severe weather event tomorrow. This is not official information. This is what my opinion is right now. Um, overall, I think the overall risk of this whole event is going to be high to very high. So a uh, pretty high risk event. And the tornado threat I'm thinking is just below moderate levels, which means there's a lower end tornado threat. Um, but we still cannot rule out a few tornadoes. The hail threat is expected to be relatively low, with the main threat being wind closer to the highest risk possible here. Let's get into the SBC and what they think. This is the Storm Prediction Center's outlook for day two, which is tomorrow. There is a very large enhanced risk in effect with 6 million people in the enhanced risk, including cities of Madison, Cedar Rapids, Green Bay, Rochester and Appleton. All those cities, major cities, are in the enhanced risk, level 3 of 5. And currently, there's a 5% tornado risk in that enhanced region, which means there's a 5% tornado chance for a tornado within 25 miles of a point in that brown region. So the threat for tornadoes is rather low. Um, it's mainly going to be a QLCS threat, which means... What that basically just means is like torna embedded tornadoes within a line of storms. The main hazard is wind, which is a 30% risk, and the hail is 15%. The day three outlook has a large marginal risk in effect southeast of where the enhanced risk is for tomorrow, and this would be Thursday. A slight risk is more than likely probably going to happen with how models are trending, especially in the Illinois and Indiana region. Let's get into the models. This is the latest HRRR model, 18Z run. And you can see this is around 10Z Wednesday morning, so like pretty early Wednesday morning, tomorrow morning. There's a complex of storms here in eastern Nebraska, moving generally eastward into Iowa. Pretty fast, actually, because it makes its way into eastern Iowa and southeastern Minnesota by around midday Wednesday. These storms right here um, are not expected to be too severe, according to the HRR. It'll probably bring some gusty winds, but nothing. This is not uh, the main show, is what I'm trying to say there. That does push eastward into eastern Wisconsin and northern Illinois into the afternoon hours while generally weakening. And then behind that, the HRRR in southwestern Wisconsin and northwestern Illinois has a complex of storms developing behind that initial round that look pretty, pretty nasty. Um, so it could be some pretty damaging storms if this actually does occur that, that strikes southeastern Wisconsin and northeastern Illinois into the evening hours before the main line moves through overnight. You can see it starts forming around Minnesota before developing more into central Wisconsin and eastern Iowa. That will be the main line of storms to watch out for. There are significant time differences and significant overall differences between models, so unfortunately this is going to be a boom or bust situation and it's either going to bust, meaning we barely get any severe weather tomorrow, or it's going to boom, and that means we will see severe weather tomorrow, and it could overperform. It's going to be one of those two, and we won't know until it happens. So, overall uncertainty is very, very high. Looking at the NAM model for their Cape values, this would be early Wednesday morning, and you can see Cape values, the higher the amount, generally the more unstable the atmosphere is, meaning there's more energy for storms to use up 
and become severe. And you can see here, instability starts kicking up quite a bit in the late morning, early afternoon hours, with southern Iowa and portions of Wisconsin being over 2,000. And as the afternoon goes on, you can see Cape values of over 4,000 in Iowa and western Illinois there, and in Wisconsin nearly reaching 3,000. And as the evening into the overnight hours go on, you can see it starts to fade away and the colors get dimmer, meaning instability is waning and going down. And overall, it gets mitigated by Thursday morning in this general area. Overall, it is a pretty serious threat to look out for. This is updraft helicity, which basically means, like, um, rotation, in other words. Now, models can't pinpoint exactly where a tornado is going to occur or where strong rotation is going to occur, but it can give us a good idea of how storms may play it out, which you can see here, the lighter colors and oranges and lighter blues generally mean more rotation and stronger rotation as storms push through the area. And so right now it does look like some of these storms, especially if they do get discrete and isolated from the main line, they could become tornadic, which is why that 5% tornado risk is there. That's just, just a weather forecast for the upcoming potential severe weather outbreak. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.